Hello YouTube, this is Kevin with Williams Weekend Lawn Cutting Service. I'm here to share another video with you. Now I do apologize that I'm not able to look into the camera. I forgot my dash mount and I uh, just got the camera actually looking in the basket. I had finished my first property and while I was riding on my mower, um, I just thought about the person that's just uh, sitting on the couch and thinking about um, doing lawn care. And I guess this would be geared towards those folks that want to do it, um, but a little bit fearful of doing it. And I also thought um, when I was, uh, you know, closing my gate on my uh, trailer, I said, uh, people must have barriers. I had a barrier that, st that prevented me from starting a lawn care company. And I think that's what I call this video breaking down your barriers the first thing you need to do is identify what is preventing you from starting your lawn care company whether it's access to equipment where it's access to a vehicle where it's uh, fearful fearfulness or um, shy shyness whatever it is if you truly want to do this the first thing you have to do break down the barrier, get off the couch, get off of whatever you're on, and get out here and start cutting some yards. Because I'm gonna I'm a, uh, kind of share this with you. Um, there's a kid that's uh, in my neighborhood. He's, uh, I wanna say he's between 16 and 18. Might be younger than that, or might be older than that. I don't know. Um, well, but he started with a bicycle. He had a bicycle. He had a, a little small trailer. He put that uh, mower and trimmer and blower on the back of that little bitty trailer. And then he graduated to a lawn tractor. Then he had a lawn tractor trailer. After that, he graduated to an ATV. And he has a, and he's pulling uh, probably, I think, I wanna say a five, five by six or five by eight trailer. And he has his line, he has his uh, equipment on that trailer. I'm assuming he doesn't have a license or I'm assuming um, that he doesn't have the funds to actually get a vehicle where he could go out further because he can only go so far with that ATV. And I just look at him and I say to myself, wow, I wish I had started that early. And if I had started that early, where would I really and truly be now? I know it's probably meant for me to go the path that I went, but I just look, looked at him and he kind of inspired me. I'm like, wow. So with me sharing that with you, there's no excuse. If you do something similar to that, or even close to that, you could be successful. If you don't have access to a vehicle, that's okay. Just get the um, lawnmower, push it up and down the street until you get a yard. Now I want you guys to kind of turn your volume up on this one here, because I want to share this with you. Part-timers that's doing lawn care, full-timers that's doing lawn care, the folks that have these big massive companies that's doing lawn care, that have over five crews uh, doing around, uh, cutting grass, guess what? They can't cut all this, all this grass out here. So since they can't cut all this grass out here, well, let me throw the homeowner in there as well. You got the homeowners. All the homeowners don't cut their own yards. And what I'm telling you is that we can't cut all this grass out here. It's virtually impossible. Yes, I wish we could, but it is virtually impossible for all of us, the folks part-time, full-time, larger companies, larger corporations, it is impossible for every single one of us to cut every single yard out here. So with that being said, there's a yard for you. There's a yard. 
you should go to sleep every single night if this is what you want to do. I'm going to get a yard today. I'm going to get a yard today. And when you first get that first yard, depending on who you are, you're going to be fearful. Heidi suggests cut it, to, uh, cut it where there's no flaws in that uh, um, by cutting the grass. And guess what? You'll get another one. Because someone will actually look at your work and say, hey, I want him or I want her. So you can do this thing. If you um, if you do have a vehicle, hell, pick up that uh, push board and throw that thing in the trunk and keep on rolling. Now, I spent a little time in Europe and I just couldn't believe this. Um, the Mercedes Benz in Europe is sort of like the Chevys and Fords here in the States. So I went, oh, well, I, well, when I went over there, I seen all of these uh, Mercedes Benz pulling trailers. Now, I did not see any Mercedes Benz pulling, you know, like lawn equipment and stuff. They was like picking up, uh, I, I wanna say like furniture or taking stuff to the trash or, or moving or something like that. But uh, I just couldn't believe that. So, if they can hook a trailer up to their vehicle, you see how much weight your vehicle can uh, pull, and then you put your equipment on that trailer. And then start graduating up as you start getting yards. But the first thing you have to do, you if this is what you want to do, you have to get off that couch, and go out there and just do it. And my main focus uh, by doing these videos is that um, I hope that you take a little something that I said to uh, get you to get going. To get you to start doing yard care or uh, anything else that you may want to do it. I mean, anything else that you may want to do. But the first thing I would suggest, now I'm just suggesting, that you write a list out of whatever those barriers are and start eliminating the barriers. Because there is a solution to every single problem. You have to just start thinking outside the box. And of course, you have to want to do it. So if that kid story don't get you off that couch or off the floor or out of the bed or wherever the heck you're at, I don't know what else to say. But I hope this actually helped someone out there in YouTube land. It might not be this year. Maybe it might be next year that someone wants to, uh, when they're going through all the videos and hopefully that you've seen this one and um, you take a little piece of my video, a little piece of some other people's video to get inspired to go out and start cutting grass. Because once you get your first property, you should really look up into the sky and say, I did it. I did it. I did it. Well, I'm almost at my second property that I actually had to cut. And um, I appreciate you looking at the video. Um, you can comment on it if you want. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.